everyone. So I'm about to do a Vox Box um, unboxing and a review with me trying it on. So if you want to see how I got this real quick, like y'all, it's probably like a 15 minute look. Real quick look, <laughs> trying out the products I got in a Vox Box, then keep watching mine. So today I'm going to be doing a Influence Their Vox Box review of this Revlon box from Influence there. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup with it. Um, these are the products that are inside. We have mascara, a liner, and an eyelash curler. I'm gonna do some slight makeup with it just so that we're not just doing the um, mascara. Um, and I'm also gonna be trying out this NARS foundation in Tahoe. Um, since quarantine, you know, we can't, you know, match ourselves in a store. So I picked it up and hopefully it works. Okay, so I always, always, always start with my brows. Always. I've already washed my face and cleansed it and moisturized. I'm going to be working out of a palette for my mirror. Um, and for my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. I'm gonna outline these babies. Um, this, this product is my go-to for like, kind of like a full glam brow. But then I've kind of been falling in love with that, with the Fenty brow pencil. Um, I like that for my real quick fill in my lash my brows before i have to go somewhere type of look just gonna brush those out and no we're not done you know concealer is a trick of all tricks when it comes to your brows okay if you stop here you're not done yet you need to keep going i'm gonna fill in this other one and I'm just kind of outlining the bottom first. Just kind of give me some guidance. And then I'm pulling in the top as well. And then once I have like a general shape, you know, fill them bad boys in. I'm hoping and praying my husband doesn't come home before I finish. Oh, so I may have to relocate. I'm gonna go to another room because the game's on. Okay. So we got those filled in. Oh, that was fast. Oh, we don't fill them in that fast. And I'm actually working out of my kit today. So you'll see me looking down um, to find brushes because I have my brush belt <laughs> down here in front of me. Um. For my concealer, I use this Juvia's Place um, concealer. I don't know what it's called. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's I Am Magic. I think that's the actual foundation. Sir, please. Apollo. Y'all, my dog be out here gang banging on these other neighborhood dogs. You don't get no shit from nobody. Paolo, please. Please, sir. Yes, yeah, so the concealer, you see how you just go in underneath and it just makes that look, oh my God, so much more defined. You see that compared to this one? It just looks more shaped on the bottom. I'll do that to the other side and this color is a couple shades lighter than my skin um, and that's what I do for the bottom and on the top I try to get one that is closer to my actual skin tune Apollo Now we're gonna 
this Fenty foundation, I love it, but it's not um, matching as well anymore as it used to. Um, but I still love the foundation itself, so I may have to go see what else they have for me. Right, I'm gonna go on top. The mud brows like drastically need to be done. But you know, quarantine. It's not an excuse, but I've been kind of lazy lately. Because why should you take time to do your eyebrows if you can just use concealer? They look done. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's when I'm out in public, I don't always do my eyebrows. So then I be out here looking kind of a little bushy. But again, you're just going to kind of outline the shape that you want. Regardless of where some of the extra stray hairs might be. This shade is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Um, normally, you get, I use one that is the same shade, but that's what I'm working with right now. So voila. Oh, okay. So next, I'm going to prime my whole face with this Fenty Beauty <laughs> primer. I love this primer, y'all. It feels so smooth. It feels so nice. Get my nose area. It just feels like very like velvety. The forehead. You can do this before you do your brows if you want to. I just always do my brows like first first. Okay, now we got our primer on. Let's look at doing some under eye love. Um, so I don't know where my I don't know where my MAC palette is right now. So we're gonna use this LA Girl Pro Conceal. It works pretty good. Uh, the shade is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of a lighter shade um this one is just straight orange and then this other one is peach so i'm gonna kind of mix those two because i don't know um where my mac palette is for some reason just to lighten it up i'm just gonna go underneath the eye Voila, here we go. So you're probably thinking, oh my God, that looks so weird. I know, girl, I'm not done. I'm not done. This is a yellow corrector. We're just gonna throw that on top of the orange, baby. See that? You see that, that glow? Mm -hmm. You gotta trust the process. This is why I tell my clients that I work with them, um, whether it's a wedding or whatever, I tell them like, trust the process. Sometimes the makeup can look a little off-putting, a little crazy at first, but trust me. I will not have you out here looking crazy. Look at that. We didn't even do the concealer yet. Boom. Mm. 
I work with my finger as opposed to a brush or a beauty blender. Um, this is preference for my concealer and under eye. Your finger kind of warms the product up and helps it blend to the skin a little bit. But it's completely up to you, girl, or guy, or non-binary person. Human, it's up to you. Okay. So, wow. Okay. I don't have any makeup wipes. That's okay. All right. So now we got that done. Now we can do a little bit of foundation. All right, y'all. We're going to try this, this NARS foundation. It's in Tahoe. I tried a sample from Sephora that was Tahoe, but I think it was their matte one. But this one's not matte. So a lot of times when you're look, when you're trying a product, the matte and the non-matte, the hydrating formula, they can be different colors. But I didn't see a matte option. So maybe I'm making the whole matte thing up. I have no idea. But I want to try this bad boy out. Take my beauty blender and just spray it. Get it a little bit damp. And this is some um, kind of like rose water, like facial spray, chamomile and lavender. And let's see. Hmm, this foundation is not bad. I have to blend it with something else. Not bad though. Mm, that lavender stuff smells so good. This may end up going into my kit. I'm not sure. It doesn't look bad. Great. I sure I'm doing a whole lot just to try out some mascara. This is what happens when you need more makeup in a while. This is the um, BioSense Rose Vegan Lip Balm. Get my lips primed and ready. So this is what that looks like. Biosense Rose Vegan. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of under eye concealer. I'm doing a very light concealer. Nothing drastic. Just a slight a shade higher. That was good. And that was the same highlighter that I did underneath my um, eyes. I'm sorry, underneath my eyebrows. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty matchstick i believe it's called and this one's in truffle just get like i said some slight slight just something real slight okay let's try a couple things to warm the face up just a little bit just a little this is um, this is the Too Faced Do You Foundation in Maple. I'm gonna blend those two together. Oh yeah, I like that. That 
This is good. All right, so we're gonna set the under eye. I have two Fenty Beauty powders here. I have banana and honey, and we're gonna start with the banana. Okay, so we're gonna do a little powder under the eyes. I'm gonna use this brush from Juvia's Place. Just get a little bit of that banana powder underneath my eyes to keep us in one place, me on here. I don't really like to bake. I know some people do, but not really my thing. And maybe I'm just not doing it right. I don't know. All right, I'm grabbing that honey shade. I'm putting it everywhere. All right. Okay. All right, let's do a quick eye. I mean, like, 10-minute eye at most. I just want... Got that done real quick. I mean, real quick, y'all. A 10 minute eye. Okay, the moment that I've been waiting for. <laughs> so, the influencer box. This box is by Revlon. When you open it, it says Big Bad Lash. And kind of shows you what came in the box. So we got some chrome liquid liner. Um, so we'll see if this shows up on me. And then this mascara, which I'm sure we can do something fun with that. I think it's in brown or black. Black. And then a lash curler. All right, so let's try this liner and see what this looks like. Just to give some background on Influencer, Influencer is a platform where folks like me can leave reviews on products so that folks like you can go on there and find something to buy. Um, so all their reviews are super honest and Influencer sends um, products to you based off however you answered the questionnaire. Um, and they're free. I mean, I didn't pay for anything. They just sent it to me. And in return, I give them a review, which is what we're doing now. Okay, so this is, it's like a marker. Okay. Hmm. So it is pretty much the same color as my eyeshadow um let's see if i can show you on the inside of my arm it's, there it is it's kind of like the same color as my eyeshadow so it's not really showing up too much for me let's see I mean, it's showing up, but you can't really see it. So that's that. Um, I guess I shouldn't have done any eyeshadow. I wasn't sure. I thought the eyeshadow might help it pop. But. All right, so then we'll do the lash curler next. Um, so yeah, so I signed up on Influencer and then maybe like two months later, I got this box, which is my box box. Um, pretty standard. And this is going in my kit. <laughs> I already have a ton of them, but never have too many. It does fit very comfortably on the eye without pulling too much. Why 
voila. All right. So finally, for the try-ons, we're going to try on this Revlon mascara. Um, it says Big Bad Lash, and the color is blackest black. I guess it's black, black, black on black. Okay, so let's see. So these are my lashes prior to any mascara on them. I like this mascara. Very little clumping. It's definitely black. So it's definitely black. I can definitely see it. Um, let's check out the side. I like the brush too. The bristles are um, really neat. They kind of go in in the middle and they flare on the outside, which I guess can give you a nice little look. Um, I like it. I kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't have done my, my shadow so you could see, but I feel like you can see that. I like it. Let me do a second layer and see if I like that better. Second layer does give me more of a fuller lash. Um, go through and separate some of my lashes because it did clump a little bit at the end. Okay, let's see the other side. I like this mascara. So it does kind of really give you a full lash. So that is my review for Box Box and the Revlon Three Piece Trio. Um, I'm gonna throw on some lips. This is the Pat McGrath lip gloss. Um, I recently got this one around Black Friday. I was put on and oh my god, I love this lip gloss. Oh my god, do y'all see that? Oh yes, I like that. I like that. That lip looks so good. Yeah, there's the finished product with the mascara. I'm happy with it. I think that they really give you a nice full look. Um, yeah, it's pretty dope. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more things like this, let me know. And I'll definitely um, pick that back up.
All right, bye.